How's everyone doing? I am Mobile Master Tech. We are here back in Ocala. Um, so Verizon just co-located on this site on the northeast side. Uh, I forgot what street. We're here on Northeast Fort. Nah. We're here on Northeast 14th Street. Um, they co-located over here by, they call it Nursery Hill. Uh, or Tower Hill, something like the Nursery Tower Hill, whatever it's called over here by Cal Springs. Uh, you can see them on the bottom, C-band included. Uh, it has turned on. I don't think it has um, CBRS. Only so far, only one site in the entire county I've seen actually get that treatment. But yeah, I just wanted to test out. They were very like kind of finicky over here and now they're very good. So let's test out all the carriers, starting with T-Mobile. Uh, they've always been strong over here. Even before 5G, T-Mobile worked very well. They've never been weak over here. Uh, uploads kind of weak. That tells me the likelihood that this is um, N25 in the beginning is extremely likely. And sure enough, there it is. So you see N71, then N41, N41. Now those speeds would go a lot higher if N41 on the upload was the primary. Now I don't know if I can get it to do that. Phone wants to do what it wants to do. This close, I don't see why it wouldn't. But we have it in non-standalone mode now, so let's let's test that. That that's definitely gonna boost the upload speeds. Ping times a little high for T-Mobile. Very unusual, actually. Usually T-Mobile's ping times are significantly lower than this. Okay, and we see NSA definitely a little bit faster thanks to those LTE bands, and the uploads are a lot higher. Also thanks to those LTE bands. Very good, very good. Uh, next, we're gonna go ahead and do Dish, which you can see uh, they are under T-Mobile on the site. So you have AT&T on the top, um, no C-band yet, none of that, still LT, still um, regular 5G, low band. Then you see T-Mobile, then you see Dish. Then I think, I wanna say that's Metro. And then on the bottom, you have Verizon. And uh, Dish, no slouch at all. Well over 400 down. This is a... Uh... Let me check. I'll check for you guys. Network signal guru never fails. Let's find out where we're at. Okay, well, we see N70. Right there, AWS 4. And uh, let's do one more test, and that should tell us uh, what's going on here. 53 millisecond ping time. Okay. It says 20 and 10. They're blinked out, but I already know what it is. It's N66. 20 megahertz and then n71 at 10 some of the sites do appear to have n29 at 5 megahertz so that's really cool to see um once again very good speeds uh so let's go on to at&t we'll do them next at&t and they don't have uh the only hope for them is inter-site aggregation from a further site which is not happening. Now this sector for them is probably the least congested sector of the three. If I go to the other two, it's a lot more congestion on AT&T, much harder to, uh, to do things on their network than this sector right here. So this sector right here is pretty good. I'm liking it. Um, 50 for the ping time, you know, which is kind of high usual uh 67.5 for the download and then 11.5 for the upload five millisecond uh for the jitter so really good for at&t 
Um, the last one, of course, what we came here for, what we came here for is Verizon. And what I wanna do before I do one with Verizon is I wanna check the LTE networks for T-Mobile and for Verizon and even for AT&T. So I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna redo these tests. So this is LTE for T-Mobile. And as you can see, there's definitely like some congestion, deep pry, I don't know. I shouldn't be getting deep pry, I'm on the best plan, but there's definitely some congestion going on. Now this is using probably 30 megahertz. It could be 40, five, it just depends. So yeah, so we got band 66 at 20 and another five and then another 20 and that's it. So it's 45 megahertz total on the LTE side. And you can see the uploads are fine, but the download, eh, a little congested. Still apparently a lot of LTE usage in this area. Um, obviously band 41 is no longer around for a T-Mobile. So that's, that's done, that's done, it's a done deal. Let's get to Verizon now. I wanna check this and uh, one second while I set that up. And we're back and we're gonna start off with Verizon over here. Uh, 25 millisecond ping time, which is fantastic. And we're rocking just about, ah, there it is, 700 down. It is definitely one gig backhaul, 100% positive of that. Um, but excellent speeds. Uh, the last time I was over here, it just turned on a few days ago and it was at 60 megahertz of C-band. So I don't know if that changed in the last few days. It may very well may have, but let's go take a look. And yes, it has changed and it is the full 140 now. Band, 20, uh, band two at 20 megahertz, band 66 also at 20. There's another band 66 at 10 that I did see, it's not latching onto it, but it's there. Uh, they have N5 slash Band 5 D D ah, DSS going on too. It's the usual, this is the usual setup. Um, CBRS is the sole exception. There's only one site that's doing that. So this is fantastic to see. And I, obviously once they scale the backhaul and up that provisioning to two gigs, it'll start going over a gig so this is great 21 millisecond ping time 739 for the download 123 for the upload jitter great great for the coverage in this area Verizon was sorely lacking in coverage in this area um, for the longest time I'm shocked it took this long to get there uh, in an area that can get pretty busy during especially in peak more homes and stuff being built over here as well so it's good to see um, yeah, everyone's doing well in this area now. And even if I go over here, like half a mile, T-Mobile did the opposite where they got on the uh, Nextel site where they're on the top and Verizon was already there. And they also Verizon up that site too. So their density is now, uh, almost in parity. Technically, Verizon just outdensified T-Mobile momentarily because the site for over here for T-Mobile hasn't turned on yet. It's been a few months, um, but once it does, it'll be in parity. Uh, needless to say, all the networks are doing excellent in this area. Happy to report it, and uh, I'm gonna leave it at that. So if you like what you see on the channel, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow me on Twitter or X at Terrell352. And until the next video, I'm out.